guests today. We um, are pleased to be invited and pleased to um, get the word out there because we have been very successful with our refrigerator and we're hoping that this mission could be carried on in other communities. Um, the person who's attending with me is Gina Kerr. She's from Whispering Wild Market Farm. Um, and I'm gonna let Gina tell you about herself and then she can help fill in when she ta we talk about the farmers. So Gina, can you tell us about who you are and where you're from and what you do? Hi, Gina Kerr, uh, owner operator of Whispering Wild Market Farm. We're in Toybolo, which is about a half an hour out of uh, Houghton. Uh, we're a whole farm. We do animals and uh, mixed fruit and vegetables, um, both perennial and annuals. And um, we kind of use our, our system to uh, feed the animals with uh, our leftovers and use the animal waste to fertilize the, um, uh, the fields and, uh, and keeping our inputs really low that way. Uh, we <clears throat> have been going to the farmer's markets for about Five years and have been growing um, professionally for that time. We also have a CSA. <clears throat> we work with um, what used to be a Portage Health Foundation is now Copper Shores uh, for their community um, CSA. And uh, we're working with a couple different foundations uh, to offer benefit SNAP beneficiaries, uh, fruits and vegetables through a program. Uh, so we we're, we're, we got our fingers in, in lots of different programs and, and uh, we're really enjoying the community fridge as well. Thank you, Gina. Gina, um, and we started doing this in June, right? And you were contacted by Ashley. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the thing that what I want to make clear from the beginning is we are not a nonprofit. Um, we have not applied for that. Or I'm not thinking we're going to. Um, in the beginning, in the winter, Ashley Tensharmel, Tensharmsel, um, contacted me and asked me if I had any ideas um, about where the fridge could be located. Because of my involvement in the community, I suggested um, the free the free store run, or no, not the free store, the office shop. I'm sorry, not the free store because of the hours of the free store. Um, the office shop is open Monday through Friday. Um, we can take the vegetables there on Saturday and they're open on Monday. So there's not a delay in distributing the food. Um, our, we are run completely on by volunteers. Um, Ashley is the person who started this. She's from the North Harvest CSA. And um, we met in the winter, like I said, to discuss how this would work and how it would look. Um, and she's also the person that's the go-to for the farmers. She contacts the farmers because she can relate. She understands what's going on with farmers better than I do. Um, we had uh, Rachel Presley donate the fridge. We had six to eight farmers um, donating seasonal produce. Um, and as the seasons change, the produce changes. So in the beginning, we had lots of greens, lots of greens, lots of greens. Um, and now we're going with the squash. The nice thing about having six to eight farmers is that we have a variety of seasonal produce. Um, different areas actually grow different things. So we're very blessed to have a variety of food come in. We have two to three bakers that donate every week, um, which is a nice treat for the people. It was a, it was a surprise. Um, when they decide when they wanted to join us and donate. So we have cupcakes from Superior Cupcakes and we have um, baked goods from Two Old Broads and occasionally our bread guy will give us a loaf of bread. Um, Ron Ray at the office shop houses the fridge as well as the food pantry and provides services like faxes and copies for vets. Coordinates, he coordinates other needs um, if someone needs um, a ramp built, he finds someone who can build it and pay for it. So he is a wonderful light in our community as far as knowing where the resources are and how to tap into them. For myself and my husband, we're just a small cog in this whole thing. We pick up the produce on um, Saturdays before the market closes and we take it to the office shop and unload it and um, make sure everything's there and nice and tidy. 
um, we recognize the how we started this is we recognize the food insecurity in our rural community, and we wanted to create a place to access local fresh food for free. We saw other parts of the country had developed free food fridge programs, and we wanted to provide the same opportunities here in Calumet. Um, the farms have been found, um, from what I've talked with Ashley, farmers have had extra produce, and they found that the produce either went into compost or fed to their animals. So some of that now is coming back to us, and it's all fresh and good and wonderful for our people. We met in the winter, Ashley and I, and Ron Ray, the office shop was brought into the mix because of two, three things, the location in the community, the availability, his hours of being open, and his excitement and willingness to have this. Ron is over the top excited about what's happening at the office shop. Farmers were contacted prior to the market season and there was definitely an interest. Market season fridge is filled every Saturday Produce was local, um, seasonal, and it's empty by the end of the week. I've gone in on Wednesday and the fridge is empty and I filled it on Saturday. Market season um, is continuing until next week. And then we're looking for other options as far as how to fill the fridge. One of the things that I initiated was a can for money donations. And with that money donations, when I was able to accumulate $15 at least, I would distribute it among a farmer. So I would pick a farmer that week and take the $15 from the donations and buy produce from the market to go back to the fridge. So that, that's the way the money was used. It was donated to us. Um, local gardeners are encouraged to bring extra produce. Um, and not only produce, but we've had meat, cheese, and other products are donated to the fridge. Um, we are always asking other people, and as the word gets out, we get more and more things donated. Um, the, um, like I said before, we are not, we are not a nonprofit. Um, so we are looking for other ways to get donations of money and food. Um, the Calumet Township has agreed to be the fiduciary for a grant for, for, for 20, I'm sorry, for $2,500. It will be budgeted for meat and produce to be purchased from our local farmers. And Gina is one of our local farmers that will help us out with that. We should hear, hear very soon um, if the grant was approved. Actually, we should have heard on Friday, but my contacts are out of town, so I'm not sure how that went. Um, to get updated information, um, go to the Office Shop Facebook page, and that, and I'll go into more of that. But Gina, do you want to talk about your part of um, your donations and the farmers' feelings about what's happening with this? Um, from what I've gathered, uh, everybody's really enjoying being able to donate. Uh, like she said, uh, several times throughout the season, we'll, we'll be bringing things that maybe aren't as popular. Uh, and so, you know, we don't get it sold. And, you know, once it's harvested, you know, it's not like we're going to be able to, you know, take it to a store or take it somewhere else. Uh, the market is our pretty much our only outlet. So if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. Um, and if we bring it home, you know, we might use a little bit for our families. If we have animals, we can feed it to them, but oftentimes it'll just go in the compost, which is, you know, well and good. It's not going to get wasted that way, but people first. And that's always been my, um, my motto, people first. So if we can give it to somebody that will actually eat it, uh, that just, that, that warms our heart <laughs> quite a lot. So um, <clears throat> we're happy, happy when, when that box comes around to, to figure out what doesn't store well, uh, what's, um, you know, going to go bad before the next market and, and get it into that box so that people can, can partake. Thank you, Gina. With Gina saying that when we load up our, our farmers will give us different things. And I'm a city girl, been here for eight years, but I'm a city girl. And I have to say, what is that? What is that? So a lot of times we'll put on Facebook what it is in the fridge, because 
I'm not so sure everybody understands or gets what is there. I know when I first started getting my CSA, I wasn't sure what I was eating or how to cook it. So we do have, um, you know, notes and signs and things of unusual things. Um, the thing about it is people may not buy them in the market, but the fridge is always empty. It's mm -hmm. never, there's never anything left when I come on Saturday. It's very successful. Um, so going back, to um, the Office Shop Facebook page. Ron has over 1,100 followers and he updates it um, every, every day about 10 o'clock. So Monday morning at 10 o'clock is when you could see what has been um, delivered to the, face, to the fridge as well as um, the cupboards and the, the pantry and everything else. Um, he's involved in a multitude of services. Like I said, he does copies and faxes at no cost for the veter local veterans. Um, he has a food pantry where he has dry goods and he accepts all donations for that. He has a pet pantry now that he just started that he's very excited mm -hmm. about because sometimes people can't feed their pets and people are generously donating food and um, toys and things like that. He also has an area in the store that has warm items like hats, mittens, and scarves. Um, my knitting group will donate to him for that, but we also have outside um, individuals knitting for that cause. Um, he's helping to collect, and he has been collecting toys for kids. His idea is to be able to have, if someone can't afford a birthday present for their child, that they would have a place to go and get something for free. Um, last year, he distributed $1,600 in gift cards and certificates from Pat's for Christmas. And Ron has a, has a way to match donations with people's needs. Um, I lost my train of thought, sorry. Um, the, the, the whole office shop is now centered on community needs. He does, he does have office items but his passion is the community and feeding the community and taking care of his community. Um, to make donations, you can contact Ron at the office shop. He accepts cash, checks, PayPal, and gift cards. We can continue to encourage the community and to donate to the fridge and the pantry. Um, going back to the grant, um, we have um, and I know very little about this because I'm not a part of that, but um, the Calumet Township has agreed to be a fiduciary and um, applied for the grant for $2,500, um, which will help fill the fridge for the winter because that was our problem coming into the winter. Where do we get produce? Where do we get meat? How are we gonna do this without farmer's markets? So the grant will allow us to purchase fresh meat um, and fresh produce from local um, farmers. We have yet to hear about that, but I can let you know. Um, we're all very hopeful. So um, I can tell you where the office shop is located. It's on Scott Street. The, the phone number is 906-934-2160. He's open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we are hoping we have, I've, I've told you about the history, but what I want to tell you is about what Ashley proposed back in the winter. What Ashley proposed back in the winter is that we have three community fridges, that we have one in Calumet, Houghton, and Hancock. Um, and that was all very big and very exciting. And I do believe it could happen, but in the beginning it was like, whoa, you need to slow your roll. We'll just start in Calumet and see what the farmers say first and then go from there. So it's been very, very successful. The, the, the fridge is very successful. It's in a great location. Um, Ron states that he has 30 plus people that come in during the week. Um, and again, empties the fridge of things that they may not know. Um, we do have recipe cards there that are provided. So if you pick up something and you're not really sure how to fix it, you can pick up a recipe card. Um, we uh, have a poster on the fridge and on the office shop door of the farmers and the people that actually donate to us so we can make sure and give them all credit. 
And um, we are hoping, um, our final hope is that Houghton and Hancock will also consider this project for their community. Um, is like I said, as far as my, we are all volunteers. Um, as far as myself, I'm a small cog, but I can answer some questions if there are any. Okay, uh, 